Well, the first time I met Sandra Hutchins was about noon on June 10th, 2008. That was the day she was appointed Orange County Sheriff by the Board of Supervisors. When she came to me and we were shaking hands, I of course said, congratulations, Sheriff. And then I leaned toward her and in my sparkling dialogue said in a quiet voice, do you have any idea what a giant chunk you just bit off? Still gripping my hand, she looked me in the eyes and said, you know what, I'll let you know as soon as my feet touch the ground. So during the most turbulent time in the history of the department, and we all know the story, we watched as she took the reins and led the department back to stability. For more than 10 years, Sheriff Hutchins handled her responsibilities as the Orange County Sheriff's Department CEO with competence, intelligence, and grace. I was very honored to know, have known Sheriff Hutchins, but I was really lucky to say that Sandy was my friend. I think the qualities that made Sheriff Hutchins a great leader was first and foremost humility. She had such profound humility in how she did her job, uh, how much she cared about this organization, some, an organization she didn't know. She took over um, in 2008 and really didn't know anybody. Had to come in and learn all the personalities, uh, the culture, but did it with tremendous humility that I'm not sure anybody could have had taken that position at the time. She was a huge believer and supporter of the woman shooting team. She taught us to always work together as a team and to not worry about who gets the credit for things. And I think that really showed through our team where we had great success because we did not care who got the credit and we all worked together and we had huge success with our competitions and we did our very best to make her proud of us because we know she's watching over us. Um, she's, our, she's our very own guardian angel. I would describe Sandra Hutchins as authentic. The most authentic woman I know. She was a strong supporter of Laura's House um, with our galas, with all our other events, and we actually honoured her when she retired from the Sheriff's Department as our Crystal Heart honoree at the Laura's House Gala. Over the years I got to know that Sandy was extremely passionate about children. She told me once that she, when she was a young officer, uh, that she would be really upset, in fact heartbroken, at the interactions that she had with children in domestic violence cases that she would meet. And she always wanted to do something about that. And I think that's probably what drew her to Laura's house. She had um, the greatest ability to, to influence people, to, to calm them, to let them know that anything we do can be walked back, to, to do the right thing a very ethical based leader. All her decisions were never based on personal uh, gain, never based on personal need. It was always based on what's right for the department, what's right for the people we serve. That by itself made her a phenomenal leader because she cared. She took the weight of a department that had gone the wrong way under the past leadership. And not only did she turn that around, but she changed standards. She changed how we saw ourselves and therefore changed how we saw the public. Perhaps one of my favorite stories about Sheriff Hutchins is not how she came into office, but how she left. Uh, after I had won my election in November and she was, we were transitioning through, I think, her, her leaving, anybody who knows Sheriff Hutchins knows she did not like attention. And so on the Thursday before Christmas, probably 
about two to three weeks before I took office. She walked into the foyer of the executive offices at noon, lunchtime. She turned at the glass doors, said, goodbye, I'm not coming back, went down the elevator and never returned. And I think that was her way of kind of leaving the way she came in, but also her way of not making about her. That was just part of who she was. She cared tremendously about the organization and the contribution she could make for others, setting up the environment for other people to be successful, but really did not want to have a party or any fanfare when she left. One of her favorite quotes, which she had in her office, which I carry with me, and I keep in my office as well. Um, her husband, Larry, actually gave me this card here, and I'm gonna read it for you. There is no limit to what, what you, you can, can accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. She was the perfect example of someone who did things, even when no one is watching, without um, trying to worry about who gets the credit for things. She was someone who would use her influence to bring other people in to support Laura's house. She was a great role model. She was a mentor to all the women that work at Laura's house. Everybody looked up to her. And I have to say, personally for me, she was a great confidant and a friend. And I can't tell you, I'm still discovering how much I miss her every day. She had a major influence on my life. She had a major influence professionally and personally. Never got a chance to thank her. Never got a chance to uh, say goodbye. Oftentimes hearing the laughter coming from the sheriff's office with her talking to people on the phone or in meetings, she really knew how to enjoy this job and, uh, and I think changed the environment of the, of the office of the sheriff. It just goes to show that she had a great sense of humor and, in many ways and we had a lot of fun working together over the years and I'm gonna miss her tremendously.